fire. How's it going guys? I'm very sorry I couldn't upload the video. I had actually scheduled it for last week, but you know, I was really busy with school and stuff and you know, I had really a lot of things to do like like school, homework, that kind of stuff. No, but seriously, the real reason is that I've been in France on vacation and the truth is the internet here is just not good enough to upload the video. So, well, enjoy the video. It's a little late, but I hope you'll still enjoy it. So it's pretty late. I especially chose this hour because there would be no one at the beach and filming would be a lot easier without all people like screaming and stuff. And you know, I don't want to get random people in my videos. Let's see if we can find a nice branch to make a slingshot out of. By the way, would you look at that sea? That's just gorgeous, isn't it? Could this be it? Let's see. Because I forgot my tripod, I had to improvise. So there it is. I can put the camera in that little gap there. And with a rubber band around it, it stays in place. Now you're just going to cut off the ends. Now I'm going to round off these edges. Now I have to flatten down these sides to make sure the bands don't get cut off on the tops of these. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some sandpaper and I'm gonna smoothen out all the edges. So now I'm going to take some wax and with that wax I'm going to make sure that the grain accentuates a little bit more and that it looks a little nicer. So this is the wax I'm going to use. From the inside it looks like this. And then I'm just going to put this wax on a paper towel and rub it all along the grain of the slingshot to make it look very nice. When using wax, always remember to really rub the wax into the piece of wood that you're covering. Because if you don't, it won't look nice. And it will feel all sticky and stuff. But if you do, it will come out really nice. It will come out something like this. I'm gonna do a light sanding. So it will get a, really, get a little bit of a lighter look to it. Because I think I like that more. But the wax will still keep it protected from water. So now for the band sets. For the band sets I usually use this cutting board because it's exactly long enough. This is another slingshot I used but the bands they got torn up at these ends so I had to shorten the bands to make sure they didn't break at the end. Um, as you can see this cutting board is 30 centimeters long which is perfect. Then you just need some scissors.
This band, by the way, is Turbant Black. You can easily buy it online. It, I believe it's the third strongest kind of Turbant, so it packs a punch when you shoot it. I'm not gonna need that anymore. So now, this piece. So because it's gonna be a pickle fork shooter, which basically means it's gonna be a small slingshot, so I don't need too much bands on it because that would just be overpowered. So it's gonna be a small slingshot, so I'm just gonna do two layers of turban black. And as you can see, if I fold it twice, that means there are four layers of turban on top of each other. And then you get this width, so that's perfect. We're gonna start off by cutting it in half over the length first. So now let's line them up. Alright, so now you got your four bands, two per side. We're gonna go back to the bigger piece and we're gonna cut off two strips from the end here. We will need that to attach it to the slingshot later. Now you're gonna cut out the pouch from this piece of pretty thick leather. How you're gonna do that is you're just gonna Cut off the old edge like this. Now you want to cut off a rectangular piece. Take this one as an example. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller though. So something like this should do. And first check if it's good leather. This part is damaged, so we gotta cut that off. We don't want the pouch breaking. Now just cut the rectangle out. So now if you got your rectangle, you're gonna cut the edges off. To make holes in it. Um, if you don't have a hole punch for leather that is, you can just fold over the edges like this and just cut half a circle out in the edge like this you can pop that out and you've got your hole real easily like this now for the other side just do the same you do need really sharp scissors for this because leather is pretty hard material all right now pop out the hole Done. So that's your pouch. Only to make the ammo sit better in the middle, I'm gonna cut out a hole in the middle too. So that's. You can also do this with a knife. I'll demonstrate it right now. You just go like this, fold it in half, then push down really hard, and from the other side, and there you have a perfect pouch. So now to attach the band set to the pouch, you're gonna need a small elastic band. You just need to snip it in half once, hold the ends, snip it in half twice. So you've got two small elastic bands. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two of your turbant bands, gonna fold them in half like this, and fold them in half like this again. And you're gonna take your pouch, Put them through the hole, fold them over the leather, right there. Grab one of the tiny rubber bands, wind it around it. Put your finger on top, wind it around your finger, wind it underneath your finger. So you do this, put it over, and then under your finger. Now pull your finger out with the rubber band. Now pull the end. 
and that's how you connect one side. Just snip off the end of the rubber band and repeat the same step for the other side. So now to attach this band set it's really easy. You just take those pieces we just cut out of the big piece and you lay the bands over the tops of the fork like this. Then you grab that bigger piece, you hold it over it, then you wrap that around through the little notch you made. So there you have it. Pretty nice shooter if I do say so myself. Let's test it out. So that's it for today. If I get home I will still make a bigger slingshot with the proper tools and stuff. But since I was on vacation all I could make is this natural slingshot. I still think it looks pretty nice and well I did my best and it feels good in the hand. So I'm happy with the result. Please stay tuned for further videos and if you got any suggestions leave them in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye.